Alaska Knights, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. Now, last we left off, the Alliance became its own kingdom. So, no clue how that's going to work. Looks like we have a support info. Ooh, a lot of people. Um, we'll worry about that later then. <laughs> We don't want to start off with a hundred support conversations. Hey there. Hello. Holst, what's going on? Our king has agreed to meet with the Adrestian Emperor. Claude's gonna talk to Edelgard? Interesting. Yes, and you'll be joining us. You're the only reliable bodyguard we could find on such short notice. I'm sorry, what? Uh, okay then. Lead the way. It's good to see you again, Claude. Congratulations on your coronation as the first king of the Leicester Federation. What's this? The Empire has officially recognized our Federation? Why, Edelgard, I'm touched. But I did have my heart set on an apology. You launched an unprovoked attack against us, after all. Attack? The Empire merely responded to an invitation from Viscount Acheron of House Phlegathon. Mm. Fortune turned against him at the Great Bridge of Murden, and he perished in the battle. As a result, we did garrison our army in Gloucester territory for a brief time. Oh. I would hardly call that an unprovoked attack. Oh, don't pull that shit, Edelgard. Tell no tales, right? Although I'll grant you that he sold us out to the Empire. Whatever transpired, the Empire and the Alliance did end up at war with one another. And I do not deny that the Imperial Army caused harm within Alliance. Why are you so quiet? We are prepared to offer appropriate restitution for that. That works. We'll take tangible resources over insincere apologies any day. We can hash out the definition of appropriate later. Want to move on to the real reason we're here? Yes, by all means. I trust you read my letter? The Central Church must be eliminated before Fodlin can be reborn. Your help would go a long way towards accomplishing that. Oh, mm. And from a personal standpoint, it's something I can get behind. But as the leader of the Federation, I can't say the same. You can't expect the people of Leicester to embrace this Southern Church that you've dredged up out of nowhere. I must take issue with that assertion. The Southern Church has a long and storied history in Fodlin. Nonsense. You hastily resurrected some dusty old sect and appointed the Empire's own Minister of Religious Affairs as its bishop. Holst is not very happy. Us to acknowledge such an obvious <laughs> sham. <laughs> None of us will shed any tears if you do not. Nor did we truly expect that you would. We do not care I don't like him. The Federation places its faith, so long as it is not in the Central Church. So all you're looking for is a little cooperation in taking them down? And I assume the Kingdom's on your hit list too, since they've given them sanctuary. I understand the Federation faces... <sighs> Surely you would prefer a quick return to stability at your borders with the Empire? Oh? I'd like to hear a little more about these challenges you think we have, but maybe now isn't the best time. Claude, we want stability. The decision is yours to make. Knowing you, I am certain you will carefully consider the costs and benefits, rather than let emotion. I don't like these two. All right, I'm in. Holst, do you feel satisfied with those terms? Everything looks good to me. I'm especially glad we found a solution to the control of Murden. Hubert, I trust you have no objections? None, Your Majesty. Mm. All that remains is the placement of your seals. Then let us conclude our discussions for now, and go inform the world that Adrestia and Lester have joined forces for a brighter future. I didn't agree to this. To me. I, Claude Von Regan, King of the Lester Federation, hereby swear this pact. Lester pledges to work in harmony with the Adrestian Empire, and do everything in its power to secure a peaceful future for Fodwin. I don't trust any of this. Blood and the white sword that crowns the double-headed eagle. I, Edelgard von Hressfeld, hereby swear this pact. Adrestia pledges to work hand in hand with the Leicester Federation to deliver peace to the land and secure a future for all its people. The pact is sealed, and now it is our job to uphold it. Kill 
normal. I'm sure you noticed how Edelgard wouldn't even deign to acknowledge your existence. How empty does it make you feel to witness history mm. marching forward without any say in which direction it takes? I never wanted to be the one making history. That's too big a role for a humble mercenary. That said, I don't know about this. The kingdom and the church are suddenly our enemies now. Is everyone really just going to get on board with that? I mean, they don't really have an option. There's Anna. Uh, the paralogue battle. Unsettling truths. I guess what we're first going to do is give a couple levels to Lauren since it seems I'm going to have to use him. So... Uh, level up. Lauren's is... I believe I made it... Hang on. Uh... Convoy... Let's change Lauren's from a soldier... Where is he? Uh, let's turn him into a Myrmidon. Just for a moment. Training can be the difference Level up. between victory and defeat. Lauren. I am still far from my best. Now we acquire class. Lauren's. Let's make him a cavalier. See my troop. Shut up. Sure. Night kneeler. Or splitter. Might small. Okay. I don't really care too much. Uh Training, you'll go into the convoy. Set abilities. Apex bow. What's Archer's wisdom? I'm tempted to give him that. Oh. Okay. Is that ability? You know what? We'll just go ahead and jump into a battle. Let's go do that prologue. Actually, before I do that... Okay, we do not have a countdown on any. Ignatz Victor reporting, Your Excellency. Yes, yes, come in. Greetings, Your Excellency. I think you're supposed to say, forgive my intrusion. Right, yes. Forgive me, Your Excellency. Listen, Ignatz... I may have a title now, but you and I are still friends as we have always been. All this Please. is starting to make my skin crawl. Please, just treat me the same as ever you have. Oh, right. Of course. Anyway. What Thank you God. Know? You've no doubt heard about the bandits who appeared in Gloucester, yes? The ones who were supposedly former mercenaries. They've been around for a while, right? Yes. My men have been searching for their base for some time now, and I believe they have finally located it. I took the opportunity to look into the provenance of these bandits anew. It seems they were indeed a mercenary band. One in the employ of my father. I huh. see. For some reason, they have abandoned the sellsword life and fallen into banditry. So kill them, got it. Why would they do that? I do not know. I attempted to discuss it with my father, but his only concern at present is finding me a proper spouse. When I ask, he evades me and changes the subject. Hmm. Yes. 
That's quite the conundrum. Regardless, I cannot ignore these bandits, especially if my father had something to do with them. Yeah. I have decided to deal with them myself, and I was hoping you might join me. Of course. I'm a Knight of House Gloucester, after all. Good. Oh, and as it would be a rather tall order for the two of us to take on a gang of brigands alone, I have called in some additional support. Hey, you lords. I came as soon as I could. Just hey. Once, I wish one of my acquaintances could split the difference between absurd formality and dire nonchalance. I am a count now, you know. Wait, so are we not friends because you're a count? No, what I meant to say is... Look, enough with the titles. I'm a busy woman, so let's get moving already. <laughs> I'll have you know, a noble is nothing without their... Never mind. I asked you here because I need your help dealing with bandits in my territory. That's it? Well, sure. I'm <laughs> to help. Raphael, I love it. Easy. I suppose it does indeed pay to have some true friends in one's corner. Sure does. Besides, if just you and Ignatz try to do it, you're gonna get kicked into next moon. <laughs> have you ever considered not saying the first thing that pops into your head? The two of us could easily handle this matter. I am simply being prudent. Also, these are not some run-of-the-mill ruffians, but rather highly trained former mercenaries. Right, the old mercenary to bandit career path. They have some connection to my father as well, so I would like to uncover what we can in the process. Look. You got it, boss. If we fight and win, I'm sure some info will turn up on your old man. I am not certain I follow your logic, though I suppose it would be the preferred outcome. Now then, we should be off. With my subjects in peril, there is not a moment to waste. God, I hate Lawrence. You are ready. I'll take my payment in meat, please. I shall tell the kitchen to prepare a ham. <laughs> in meat, please. Oh, oh, uh, there are no chests on this map, so Ignatz, congrats on your promotion. Okay. Battle map. Let's go. Hear me well, you fell brigands. All right. Here I go. You two stick together. I think this will go well. And you take him. I'm prepared to see this through. I, Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, stand in judgment before you. So, not to be a jerk, but when you stand up and scream your name like that, it prevents us from launching any kind of sneak attack. This Gloucester has no need of such dishonest trickery. If oh, shut up, Lords. Kick out their pillow before the battle begins. Firstly, let us deal with the bandits outside the base. All right, Lawrence, kill that one then. I shall not permit you to wreak any more havoc within my Let's take their base. Actually, no. I'll send you after that one. Whoa! Look at Raphael's attack! To see this, keep your eyes on me. Die, die, die. What are you, Reaper? Oh, 
Wow, look how fast Lord's attack- or not Lord's, Ignod's attack. Didn't I tell you, Raphael, to guard Ignon? Ooh, not bad. I didn't give him levels for nothing. God, you are weak, Lawrence. You're a mage. A mage thief. That is enough for the soldiers outside. Let us proceed to attacking the base. By the good name of Lawrence Hellman Glock. Shut up, Lawrence. You talk way too much. Let's send you to him. Ignat, kill that one. You take that one. Lawrence, you're going to be working on that one. We let these folks go. They'll just cause more trouble somewhere else. Let's track them down. Okay. Charge and attack. They're all holding one off. Which means this one's mine. Um, excuse you, you're supposed to have your shield. Oh, I even caught the base captain. My mother and father died not too far from here. Not a problem. I've that was a long time ago now. They were merchants, yes? Yeah. They were traveling with the old Duke Regan and got attacked by monsters. Die. I'll take your spot. 
During the period when my father employed these mercenaries, monster attacks were a rather common occurrence in this region. And these monsters took the lives of both the former Duke Regan and Raphael's parents. So wait, did the cow hire them? Pretty good mage. Uh, Ignatz, you kill that one. Lauren, you kill that one. Leonora, you kill that one. God, look at how good of a mate she is! Like, his damage needs work, but that's just because I don't have a upgraded weapon for him yet. Is Raphael using his HP to attack? He is! I need to turn that ability off of him. This thief should die right away. <laughs> Go ahead and just kill that one. Not you. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and keep working on that. Raphael's using up his HP, so I need to...
More thieves, dude. I am troubled by this development. But as the ruler of this domain, I must do my duty and eliminate these bandits. Say goodbye to you. Or not. Now we say goodbye to you. This is awful. We have to do something. <laughs> Quick. Damn, I was hoping I could make it to the... Oh well. Let's do this! Raphael, I need you to just sit back because you're killing yourself. So, Leonora, kill him. Who leveled up? Orange. I am still far from my Good level up. Next! Don't worry, I'll kill you soon. You like that? Oh! Hi! I'm taking a lot of damage that I shouldn't be. Because I'm getting too greedy. I found strength in it. Yeah. At least you got two ducks. Woo! He was having a rough time. I'm uh, assuming Lawrence is gonna have the, uh, or not Lawrence, Ignat is gonna have the MVP. All right, let's go worry about the one that's left alive. Cause I have a feeling that's not gonna be the last of them. Even though it said kill the remaining. Hi, buddy. Die! Ain't you traitorous nobles tired of beating us up yet? There we go. I knew that wasn't going to be the end of it. You claim my father betrayed you? You just threw us away like trash. Try to make us disappear so as to sweep it under the rug. 
I seized the kitchen! Raphael will be happy. Hello, thief leader. This might kill, might not. Ah, close. But... Hey, I did it. Just kill me and be done with it already. At least that way it'll finally be over. We. I would speak with you yet. I need to understand what has transpired here. <sighs> we did it. We won. Meet party when we get home. <laughs> and Lawrence is buying. You all go on ahead. I must speak with the bandit we captured. Whee. I love flying around on the dragon. Ah, oh, so close. Hey, Ignatz was MVP. Just gotta let my muscles. This is there. Okay, I'm glad I remembered. I gotta give change uh Raphael. There you are, Moritz. That took so long, I thought maybe that bandit general got you. We had much to discuss, which I will share with all of you now. Did you uncover the reason for their grudge against your father? Indeed. As we suspected, they were once mercenaries in his employ. Well, we kind of knew that, not suspected. Think, keeping villages safe, guarding the border, and so on. But one day, they were given a very strange order by a supposed envoy of my father. Well, what was the order? They were told to threaten any merchants heading toward Regan and force them to turn back. Yeah, that's a weird one, all right. The mercenaries felt the same and balked at the idea of raising their swords against unarmed merchants. Instead, they decided to chase a pack of wild monsters into the merchant's path and scare them that way. Sounds like a good way to get everyone killed. Indeed. You see the matter already. Mm. The plan worked, at first. Then one day they caught wind that merchants were approaching and loosed monsters on them per the established method. An ordinary group of merchants would have simply run away and lived. But one among this group drew his sword and began to fight. This was Lord Godfrey, who at the time held the title of Duke Regan. He fought valiantly, but ultimately in vain. Sadly, he perished along with the merchants he had hoped to protect. Merchants that included Raphael's parents. So the former Duke Regan and Raphael's parents all died because of your dad, Lawrence? So it would seem. I am terribly sorry, Raphael. Please, accept my apology in my father's stead. Hey, knock it off. You didn't do anything wrong. As it happens, my parents were meant to accompany Godfrey that day. But they had a scheduling conflict and recommended that Raphael's parents go instead, which means... Not you too, Ignatz! Look, everybody. Kids aren't responsible for what their parents do. Lawrence, do we know for sure that the order came from your father? I was wondering the same thing. Your father was always protective of the nobility's reputation, and it seems strange he would do something so sneaky. And so anti-merchant, besides. Based on what the bandit said, <sighs> I suspect it was someone from our house acting alone. By the time my father realized what was happening, the culprit had vanished, along with any hope of ever sussing out their true motives. Only the mercenaries remained, and my father had no choice but to punish them. I bet they didn't care at all about what happened behind the scenes. As far as they were concerned, their employer betrayed them. But I don't get how any of this has to do with you right now, Lawrence. A feudal lord is responsible for all that happens within their realm. Therefore, anything left unresolved by my father falls by necessity to me. I would also like to pay appropriate reparations to both you and your family, as is fair and proper. But I don't need anything from you. I can take care of my family plenty well on my own. Besides, oh, this got me when I did three houses and it's getting me again. You can't change that now. All you can do is stir up a bunch of old painful memories. Yes, but still, 
But nothing. I'm done talking about this. I'll still take my reward for beating up the bandits, though. Meat party, remember? You promised me the finest ham in all the land. And just thinking about it's got me drooling. This does not sit right with me. What should I do? <laughs> meat party, meat party, meat party. You better have enough for me and Ignatz, too. Oh, uh, right. Very well. In that case, I shall arrange for the finest spread of meat the world has ever seen. I stake House Gloucester's very reputation on it. <laughs> now that's the right thing to do. Still feels a little weird to leave it like this. But I guess this is for the best. Hey. Um, let's go into our convoy. And fix Raphael, because Raphael is really sucking right now. Oh, is that... Does he just do damage based on... So he just loses... Oh, let's see. Uh, Goody Basket, Tactical Ability... Yeah, it doesn't say anything... Why was Raphael hurting himself then? I have no clue. Oh well. Not a big deal. Let's go in here. Actually, wait. Oh, you have something down, someone down there, rather. This blue one wasn't here before, right? Uh, Never imagined that there would be a ceasefire between Adrestria and Leicester. It just goes to show that anything is possible. I don't particularly care what happens to the Empire anymore, but it's awfully unpleasant to fight them. So I welcome that sort of alliance. It's probably safe for me to take naps again without a care in the world. Sure. See. Yeah, they won't ask you to help with battle prep as much if we're not fighting the Empire. Precisely, I may even be able to add an evening map to my schedule. Okay. Do the war map. Ooh, a strike is a magic bow. Right. Defeat the brigand. There's no treasure, right? Uh, let's swap you out for you. You for Lysithia, and you for Marianne. Let's earn our keep. I'll show you how my hard work has paid. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. You go for that one. Excuse me. Is this okay? You can count on me. Uh, you can go ahead and help her. I'll do my best. Eat off. I hope I can be of some use. The Church of Saros. Defeat the brigand. Oh, we only have ten minutes for this, huh? Okay. Well, this guy is one of the ones we need to kill, so. Take them by storm. 
Okay, next! Hi. Perfect. Tornado! Give me a moment. That person. Level up. Hey, Claude. Claude could be in trouble. There's an archer over uh, fighting him. Ooh, this is gonna hurt you a lot more than it's gonna hurt me. Okay, they're gone. Marianne leveled up. Not bad, she at least got resistance. Good job, Marianne. Oh, well, you can't. You're dead. Defeated that swordsman. That stronghold is mine. Oh no, I'm weak to the Pegasus. No, don't lock onto that one when there's a Pegasus Knight right in front of you. Him. 
Perfect. <laughs> I killed them all. Let's see how well this does. is because of uh, that item I got from Marianne, isn't it? Is that it? We've won. Great job, everyone. Thank you. S! Woo! I got the S rank. No, that was a pretty bad level up. MVP is obviously me. Hey, everyone's class is mastered. Magic bow? Okay. Blessed bow. That looks pretty good. Okay. Bow collector? Save. That was a big explosion. To sum up, we've agreed to an armistice with the Empire. From now on, our enemies are the Kingdom and the Church of Seraphs. The Church is our enemy now? You say it like you're just moving pieces on a chessboard. To be clear, this is not a repudiation of the teachings of Seros themselves. All we're aiming for is the dissolution of the Central Church. That would mean killing Lady Rhea. Is that really the right thing to do? And I didn't uh. see them very much, but Sedith and Lady Rhea didn't seem like bad people. Those two aren't what they seem to be. If what the Empire says is true, that is. I hate to say it, but it sure sounds like you let the Empire talk you into buying the whole store. Look. The Empire is obviously... Hey, what if I wanted to buy it? But do you honestly think I'd agree to a deal that sets them up better than us? I'm using them right back. The balance of power in Fodlin has already collapsed. If we just sit on the sidelines, our position is only going to get weaker. By cooperating with the Empire, we can expand our influence and power as much as they do, if not more. This is the only way we can end the war quickly while maintaining Lester's independence. And for that purpose, you would throw Fargus to the wolves, despite holding no animosity towards them? You and I may not hold any grudges, but if you look to our history, you'll see it was the kingdom who tossed us to the wolves first. When our yeah. people were fighting for independence from the Empire, Fargus attacked and conquered Lester for themselves. And even after we finally won our freedom in the Crescent Moon War, they've continued to meddle in our affairs, like causing that rift in House Daphne. Hmm. Yes, well... Besides, they're harboring the central church, and I can't condone that. I've always been skeptical of that dogma they preach. It's just a way for them to force their own belief system onto everyone else. Their creed legitimizes Fodlin's system of nobility, which values crests above all else and leaves no room for people of different backgrounds or faiths. And huh. if what the Empire says is true, then I couldn't even begin to count the number of crimes the central church has committed. Claude. Are you saying that you intend to destroy our current system of nobility? Because that... I have news. A battle has broken out in ALL between Imperial troops and the Knights of Seros. The Imperial army has already stationed troops as far north as ALL? That's a little too close to Dathnal territory for my liking. It seems Catherine is commanding the Knights. The Imperial troops are in for a serious fight. Catherine was definitely the strongest out of all the Knights of Seros. Yeah. What shall we do, Your Majesty? If we're I don't remember her. We just signed. We should go and reinforce the Imperial troops. Yeah, you're right. Not so fast. We have not finished our conversation. Just what exactly are your intentions for Fodlin, Claude? Honestly, I want to break this place wide open and tear down every last one of its insular customs. If we can't do that, then there's no real path forward. Now is the time to steal ourselves and take action. Are you sure? 
How exactly are you planning to explain all that to the people in the Federation who adhere to the Church's teachings? Oh, I already have something hmm. in mind. In fact, I'll need your help to see it through. Well, you'll have it. I just hope whatever you've got up your sleeve is actually a good idea. It is. Judith, Lawrence, I need you to trust me and follow my lead for now, okay? Now, let's go wipe out those knights near Daphnil territory. Everyone, prepare to move out. Are you good with this, Shamir? I told you before, I'm not part of the Knights of Saros anymore. But we're gonna be fighting Catherine this time. Didn't you two used to be real close? We were partners back then, but that's all in the past. Now we walk our own paths. I won't hesitate to do what must be done. Huh. Well, you're not going to be in the fight, don't worry. She really is something. Uh, well, I'm not going to do that. Let's see. You hear a scream pierce the air. Go to the rescue. Out the enemy. Done. Huh. Okay. The fight starts now. We're going to battle. Leave it. Please. I was not expecting this, but okay. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. You can count on me. Oh, let's send you over to this I'll one. Do my best. Not a problem. Up to me. Yeah, we can win this. Defeat the cavalier and their allies. Okay. Okay, if you I have so many people on me right now. Oh wow, Mary had already destroyed that one! <laughs> I said we might be in trouble. I gotta hurry up and kill this guy. Hey, what did I just say? Let's go save her. Blood, you go ahead and help Let's try this. kill this one. Smash that armor! I 
time to retreat is a vital strategy. Job well done, if I do say so myself. Enemy down. Huh. You're pretty useful sometimes. Paladin is gone. Now it's just a dragon or demon. Goodbye. Come on, I said goodbye. There we go. Goodbye. I knew we'd pull out the win. That's rank. Yeah, not bad. Hmm. Not a bad level up. Got some good money. I wasn't expected to have a fight there, but let's. Oh, that was it. Let's go pick up our supplies and then go grab whatever from the base. Are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. You save a lost merchant who would like to thank you with some goods. You saved my life. Feel free to take one of these. Charm ring or dex? Well, let's take the dex, because a minor noble supportive of your cause invites you over for a meal. We cooked th this using crops harvested from the fields. There's plenty to grow around, so would you join us? Raphael. You know what? Let's go with... Leone. You met up with an allied army and refilled supplies. Sweet. Let's go see what we can expand. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Um, let's go ahead and do this. And then the only ones are bows and fists now that need upgrading. <laughs> Let me know if I may be of further service. Well, how'd it go? All right. But with that, Eskonites, we're gonna call this episode here. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, Eskonites, share the love. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching, and a huge thank you to my patrons. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to make the content I do, and do what I love to do. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye.